Carlton Cullins here with the Blue Sky Strong Box in South Austin, Texas. Today I want to talk about a few popular myths. Things that a lot of people believe that in my opinion are causing a lot of problems now and are putting up a lot of barriers for people. Uh, now everybody's got an opinion on this stuff. These are just mine. And if you happen to feel differently, that's okay. Just hear me out. I want to start off by talking about and the way that we look at exercise, the way that we think about it. You know, I... Every once in a while I ask little kids, small kids, why is exercise important? And these are the kind of answers I get. So you don't get fat. I mean, this, this is coming straight from a kid's mouth. Pure honesty. This is the way we think. This is the way a lot of people think, and that never really changes as we grow older. Now, yes, exercise is important if you want to lean down, you want to lose some body fat. Exercise is important. It's not the most important thing. So many people think of exercise in terms of calories. How many calories do I burn? I should look better. I'm going to go do cardio. Or I'm going to lift weights so I lean and tone and get a six-pack or I get skinnier and get leaner and all this kind of stuff. I'm going to lose some weight. I'm going to fit into these clothes. Not everybody looks at exercise this way, but that's what most people look at exercise. And granted, most people don't exercise. But the ones that do, this is why. But the problem with this is the idea of this, that exercise is only important really for burning calories, is that it's spun off into these other really kind of dangerous areas that we're seeing now. One is that people think because they want to lose body fat that exercise needs to be long. If they're not working out an hour to two hours every time, that it's no good. And if they don't have time to work out an hour, they're not going to work out. So that's a big barrier. It's not true at all, but it's a big barrier. Second barrier is people think that if they exercise, that it needs to be really intense so that they're sore the next day or two, and they, they're lying in a pool of sweat when they're done exercising. And that's completely false, too. That you, Yes, some people do that, but it's not necessary to get results for most people. But these two things are keeping a lot of people from exercising. I mean, people have a whole lot of excuses, but the biggest excuse is they don't have enough time. And when I ask people, how much time do you think they have? A lot of people think they need an hour or two hours to work out, and that's crazy. You can get a good workout in, in 10 or 20 minutes, 30 minutes would be optimal in my mind, but you can get a good workout in in a short time if you really know what you're doing and you really focus in on it. But people think, I need to work out hard, I need to work out long, and that's how I burn the most body fat. And in, in the meanwhile, they're not really wa working on what they're drinking and what they're eating. I mean, like, you're still drinking a ton of alcohol, still eating a ton of bread and cheese, and you're just you're not even paying attention to that stuff, but you go work out for two hours, three times a week, and you work out really hard to where your kidneys hurt. I mean, that's you're, it's not doing you any good. And how long do you think you're going to be able to work out an hour, four days a week? Or work out to the point where you throw up every time. You think you're going to do that for decades? No. But you may live for decades. So there's a problem. There's a big problem. There's a big barrier for all the people, the majority of the people that aren't exercising. This is what they think they have to do. And if they don't do it or they can't do it or they're afraid to do it, they don't do it. So big problems. This is what I'm telling None of this stuff is true. Workouts don't need to kill you and hurt you to be beneficial. Workouts don't need to be long. But you do need to exercise. You do need to move every day. And moving every day isn't the same as exercising every day. But you need to stand up, walk, and move every day. Exercise is important for so many reasons for your health. Yes, it contributes and can make you more muscular, more lean toned. It can burn off body fat. It can do a lot of things. Improve your health, your heart, your lungs, all that stuff. But it's not the be-all, end-all. You need to work on your food and you need to exercise right. If you have any questions, and I would hope that you would, please write. I'm here to help, and I'll talk more about this next time.